1919, the world was a very different place. A time of reconstruction and rebuilding, but also opportunity. A young physicist called F.D. Edwards started importing vacuum equipment into England from an office in Allendale Road, South London. He started with just 20 pounds, in a way, making something from nothing. It was the first step for a business that 90 years later is one of the leading vacuum technology companies in the world. At first, applications were confined to laboratories where scientists were experimenting with what could be achieved when atmospheric pressure is reduced. In those years, FD was selling equipment sourced from Europe and made a number of astute moves to grow his business. He became renowned for his canny and courageous personality. He realised that vacuum systems were critical to the development of a huge variety of devices. A 1930s example was the phenomenal growth of neon lighting. At the outbreak of World War II, it became clear that pumps could not be sourced from Europe. Instead, they needed to be made in the UK. A critical change for Edwards, and a challenge that was met. Vacuum was an unsung war hero, with a number of new applications starting to shape the Edwards business of the future. First was glass coating. Glass coated with special metals cut down reflection and radically improved binoculars, tank and aeroplane sights. Infrared systems were introduced, used for accurate nighttime bombing or shelling. And foil coating on chaff, designed to confuse enemy radar. There was also the start of Edwards' focus on electronics. The use of radio valves grew tenfold with a corresponding increase in pump demand and establishing the high purities necessary for later use in semiconductor manufacturing. And the first steps were taken for large-scale freeze-drying, using vacuum to remove moisture for the production of blood plasma and for drug packaging. The Edwards business was bursting at the seams. And in 1942, production moved to a new factory in Sydenham, employing around 300 people. After the war, expansion continued, and in 1953, the head office moved to Crawley. Something from nothing was the theme for the day. And soon after, acquiring machining operations at Shoreham, and expanding the workforce to over 700. Vacuum was key in another new market x-ray machines, and Edwards pumps were used in the world's first brain scanner developed in a South London hospital. In the 1950s, another development appeared on the horizon, destined to change the shape of Edwards' business forever, television. The heart of the TV, a cathode ray tube, required a vacuum, and this fueled major growth. In the 60s, Edwards was bought by the British gases giant BOC, which prompted international expansion, perhaps most importantly in Japan. In the electronics world, there was a major revolution. Transistors became semiconductors, now our biggest market and one of the world's biggest businesses. As electronic processes have become smaller, the purity of the atmosphere in which they're made has become even more important. Vacuum is critical. To meet the demands for this new industry, Edwards introduced the oil-free dry vacuum pump, a huge technological step forward, reducing risk of contamination in a business fanatical about cleanliness. It became a huge success. An agreement followed with Japanese company Seiko Seiki, manufacturer of magnetically suspended turbo pumps. With low vibration and no bearing wear, it was a major breakthrough. These new technologies, dry pump and turbo, led to significant advances for the scientific instrument market in the 1980s, now our second most important market outside semiconductors. And scaling this up, moved the company into a whole range of industrial and chemical applications to produce the all-round vacuum business of today. 
In the early 1990s, dealing with the difficult and dangerous gases from semiconductor manufacture was seen as a natural complement to the business. Edwards acquired a small startup company focused on exhaust gases, the birth of the highly successful abatement business. At the start of the new millennium, there was another major technological leap, that panel screens. It was a development that required large amounts of vacuum, and the end product soon swept the world. One of the most important moves recently is the new technology of solar voltaics, expanding dramatically in recent years. Solar provides a huge opportunity for Edwards. In recent years, Asia has become the focus for global manufacturing. But Edwards had already been in the region, in Korea and Japan, for example, for 30 years, uniquely positioned for growth there. In 2007, the business was bought by private equity company CCMP and became known simply as Edwards. The last two years have seen a huge transformation, focusing on vacuum and abatement. So where are we today, 90 years on? Well, we're still in Crawley, but now operating from a new global headquarters. The company now serves the world's most advanced industries, including semiconductor, flat panel display, solar, chemical, pharmaceutical, metallurgical, analytical instrumentation, and research and development. We have around 3,000 staff working in over 20 countries, dedicated to providing the highest levels of service. Two-thirds of our turnover is now from Asia-Pacific, and we have a very strong presence in China. Our engineering excellence is critical to us. The technology involved in making rotors, the very heart of a vacuum pump, is testament to that. Environmentally, our abatement business prevents significant amounts of CO2 emissions, and Edwards unusually is already carbon negative. We also remanufacture over 25,000 pumps a year, helping reduce our impact on the environment. We've also pushed hard on safety. For us, it's not a bolt-on. It's part of our day-by-day -day behavior. Our technical experts work closely with leading process system manufacturers to develop new and innovative products required to meet critical performance challenges, such as reducing energy demand. Our global service network ensures local support wherever our customers are globally. Much of our significant R&D effort works through local facilities around the world, close to and closely with our customers. Over 90 years, we've shown the ability to change, grow, and most importantly, to succeed. Edwards has been making something from nothing for nearly 90 years. Our aim is to be the world's leading supplier in vacuum technology and abatement, well into the future.